thank you for buying this wood rack 101198. You can find this product on our website fixturedisplays.com by searching 101198. We're going to show you how to put this display together. It's fairly straightforward. There are three drawer components. You have the base piece, the two sides, and front and back pieces, as well as the uh, upright or set panels, and leg panels or foot panels, and three shelves along with hardware. The hardware was put in a small wooden tree. The tree is a prop that they use at our studio. It's not part of the product. To get started, we want to assemble three drawers first. Now identify the holes to match up to the side of the base. And a screw comes from the bottom up to the side panels. And the countersink holes face down. So likewise, we're going to do the other side. Now we're going to do the uh, front and back pieces. Once again, the countersink whole side face out. Now, if you like our products or the video itself, uh, we can really use a good review. You have any suggestions or questions, we would love to hear from you. Our email address is cs, that's Charlie Sam, at fixturedisplays.com. Fixture Display design and manufacture many different store, retail, and business products, as well as consumer products. If you have a custom program you want us to try to coach you, we would love this opportunity. Now you uh, can use a regular screwdriver you can get your hands on. It's a Phillips screwdriver. You can also use a light duty power drill. But in either case, do not try to over tighten. That may cause stripping of the hole. Now we're going to assemble the foot pieces to the set panel. And you want to take a moment to think about the orientation of the hole position on the foot pieces as well as the upright pieces. What you want to be careful about is really the um, the direction of the shelves. And remember the two sub-assemblies of the upright are mirror images. They are not identical. They are to have two different orientations. But when put together, they should be consistent. So do take your time to confirm the direction of the upright holes, especially the, the shelf level holes. Now we installed all the casters. Remember there is two locking casters and this should be ideally on two different sides, not all on one side. Now we can start to attach shelves to the upright. You want to take your time to adjust and make sure the holes are matching perfectly. There are total six screws per side. Now I'm going to flip it and install the other side of the upright to the shelves. Now it is standing on its own. You can then put the 
bins or drawers on each shelf. The overall size of the unit is about 60 inches tall. and is slightly over 24 inches wide. And is 18.5 inches deep front to back. The three beans or three drawers, they are 23.9 inches wide, 18 and a half inches front to back and 7.6 inches tall. Oh, the overall width is 26.80 inches, so it is over 24 inches. Now this unit can be used with or without the bins. If you have products that are better candidate without the drawer or the bins, you feel free to do so without using uh, the bins. Now we're rotating the unit to give you a feeling how stable uh, it looks like. It does shake a little bit, uh, but for um, unless you're selling very heavy products, this sh should be good for most applications. If you're concerned about uh, stability because you're selling something really heavy, do consult with us prior to your purchase. Thank you for shopping. Fix your displays.